Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an update that you may have not noticed with the recent announcement. Um, they did mention this, but there is now a new uh, photo editing program built into the Glowforge user interface. They did glance over the, uh, the fact that you can use this in the announcement of the Magic Canvas Artificial Intelligence update here, but... What you might have not known is you can actually use this for your own photos and not just the uh, artificial intelligence update. So let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. In the previous video that I've done, you've seen this um, update for their magic canvas. Let's just say we select this photo and we click use this item. Like I showed in the previous video, there's this adjust artwork button here. And then you can actually adjust the photo um, to your liking to make it easier and better to engrave. But what you didn't know um, or you may have missed in the announcement because they glanced over it and they didn't actually show a photo that they had in use. Um, you can actually do this with your own photos. So um, what you want to do is you want to click on create a new design on your main page here and then upload a file. Um, I'm going to select this one here, and then you would just click open. Um, it'll take a long time to process, so I already opened this in advance so you guys didn't have to waste your time in this video. Once it processes, here is what it looks like. Um, I didn't do anything different other than open that, that photo. As you can see, there is now a new adjust artwork button right here. Um, this was not shown in the announcement, but they did say that you could use this with your own photos. It was a brief, like, one-sentence thing, um, and you may have missed that. I missed it. Somebody pointed this out to me, and I wanted to get this out to you guys. So click on Adjust Artwork. As you can see, this is my artwork. This is my photo of my project that I recently made. You can now uh, adjust your brightness, and you can do contrast with your own artwork. Um, and then your sharpness as well. So let's say that would engrave as a photo better. Um, you can also crop your image. So let's say we wanted to crop the bottom of this out and maybe the sides, just pull it in a little bit more. We'll pull this down just like that. And then you can also use this erase feature. So let's say um, I don't like this gray shadowing down here. I can erase part of my uh, photo down here too. Um, but you guys get the gist there. And then let's say we're happy with that. Um, you can now go ahead and just click apply changes. So that's going to um, process this image. It does take a while for this to apply the changes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this um, and just cut right to where it processes for you guys. So you don't have to wait around. All right, you guys. So after it processed, you can see it shrunk a little bit. And this is what the new image looks like here. I didn't have a lot to change with mine because I had a white background. But um, once it's done, uh, this is the now new processed image. So that's really handy, especially since the original image was in color. Um, and this will auto black and white it for you. Um, that way you can um, do engraves. It'll do the shadowing and shading for you. Um, let's go ahead and click adjust artwork one more time. Let's see if it picks up where it left off. Um, as you can see, yes, it does pick up exactly where it left off. It shows my edited um, erase marks here down at the bottom. Um, personally, I don't see the erase working that great because it does leave kind of jagged lines and stuff. But you could probably get in there and in detail by zooming in like this. And then um, getting in there with the erase tool and making it a little bit more um, detailed there. But... This is going to be way more uh, helpful than the actual artificial intelligence update that I was talking about in the other two videos because you're actually using your own photos that you've already made and you want to use um, versus just randomly generated photos here. So this is a feature that I really wish they would have highlighted more. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out to bring awareness to this update here. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this that they actually have some kind of basic editing and I really hope that they add like extra buttons in here for like auto remove background um, those kinds of things uh, I would love to see actual helpful updates with this processing here for just basic editing but um, this is a great start and I wish they would have highlighted this more 
Um, other than that, I hope this helped you out, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.